welcome to another episode of Unlearned, where we bring on amazing guests who have been doing a lot of amazing work, and we talk about traditional concepts that we all need to unlearn together. Um, today, I have with me a very special guest, very special to me personally. Um, this is Artina. And um, Archana is a mother of two self-learners. She um, describes herself as a self-learner as well. And um, she's been, she's had just an amazing journey. She started out, she uh, and her husband both graduated from IIT Bombay. And um, then she had a 15 year long corporate career, which she then quit because she said that it didn't align with her values, the ones that she was practicing at home. And um, then she decided to homeschool her kids and now she's been running this self-learning center called Asmakam and she runs this other social impact startup called Godfu. And um, the most special thing about her is that she is my mom. <laughs> Welcome on the podcast, it's not great to have you. Thank you, Maitre. Uh, lovingly, I call you Me Too. <laughs> but uh, it feels so... Uh, it, I'm honored as well as it feels so uh, like weird to get grilled by your own <laughs> daughter. So yeah, but um, you have been doing some amazing things and I'm so proud of you first. Thank let you. me tell you this. And um, the journey, I think uh, my journey started, uh, I think everything, all the seeds are sown in your childhood. And uh, that's how I think even I uh, worked on creating that environment for my uh, children as well. So I am born and brought up into Gandhian family. And then uh, later on when I turned 14, uh, I got connected to a very special uh, divine person in my life who is uh, Pujya Panduranga Shastri Atwale. Uh, he has created a beautiful family called Swadhyay and I think uh, that is uh, that has given me more uh, like a positive outlook towards a different outlook towards looking at life and how one should live what is the true meaning of education uh, based on our scriptures Gita, Ved, Upanishad I think um, when I went deep into that it, everything really made a lot of sense to me and uh, I think uh, even after uh, graduating from IIT and working I think more than 20 years in corporate uh, I always was thinking that was back in my mind that uh, we need to create some different life uh, lifestyle which is around nature and sustainability and how we can uh, love ourselves, uh, can create a conducive space for my children to grow up and uh, simultaneously if I, I don't want to be a change leader, I don't call myself a change leader but I think um, if something makes me happy and um, if it, it can inspire people, probably that might be a side effect. So that's how we have been living our life. <laughs> that is very true, but I think, yeah, um, you are always very modest about this, but um, I think you've had a great impact on a lot, many people. And I think the work that you've done um, through Asmakam, and I think the work that you've done with us, me and Atri, my younger brother, I just think it's, um, it takes a lot of courage to take that step? Yeah, I think uh, for me somehow I have been identified as a crazy person uh, <laughs> since true. my childhood. Uh, that uh, my father and my mother brought me in such a way that uh, uh, I'm a fearless person, you know. I can, uh, I'm ready to take any challenge in the world and I'm kind of an adventurous person who wouldn't uh, fear or who wouldn't uh, shy from any new experimentation and by God's grace I got my life partner uh, your father who is also uh, you know respecting and supporting everything I do and he also carries the same uh, thoughts and same uh, I think uh, same philosophy and same uh, vision towards uh, life oriented education as well as what kind of life we should be living so uh, that way I'm I feel blessed myself uh, my father, I think I have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, shadow or a lot of uh, uh, influence from my father, especially the way he led his life, uh, very selflessly. Every second of his life was an act of kindness for the people around him. Uh, 
so i think that led and then he had a fearless fearless life you know he did lot of experimentation so i think um, that's that's how and kind of i i don't think i'm i'm modest but i think it's kind of a natural human being you know like it is something which uh, is you are like born with all this instincts so i'm just trying to carry or probably re uh, you know uh, recreate that in my life which was uh, got conditioned uh, for a like brief period of time so <laughs> very true so um let's talk about our topic today which is unlearning outsourcing mm -hmm. so uh, i think you've also mentioned it in your linkedin profile that you stopped outsourcing your learning and your health and i want to talk about what does that mean what do you mean when you say you stopped you stopped outsourcing your learning and when you say you stopped outsourcing your health sure uh, i i would just correct this a little bit mm. like not outsourcing only my health or my mm. learning but entire families i would right. say yeah yeah so uh, outsourcing no outsourcing i think when you look at the nature uh, because when you you look at your surrounding i don't find anyone other than the human who is outsourcing anything in their life mm -hmm. look at birds look at uh, all the creatures in the world look at even small uh, like tiny bacteria or tiny you know um, uh, insect who is just roaming around here uh, they just you know they are on their own and mm -hmm. i think that's why they are so happy because you are here to create in this right. world yeah. uh, the consumption started probably i think i would say in last 300 400 years after industrial revolution happened and capitalism and consumerism consumerism started growing uh, where people are you know like just uh, like it it's not for the need mm -hmm. i would say mm -hmm. all most of the things you see today it's not for your uh, need but it's for their greed i would say so out, no outsourcing of education no outsourcing of uh, food and zero outsourcing of health and wellness i think these are the three things we have started experimenting after uh, i left my corporate career and we moved to bharat and we uh, just you know uh, started our natural farming and everything so i think uh, even as a mother um, mm -hmm. i would say uh, it's it's been uh, said in sanskrit that मातृ मुखेन हस्त मातृ मुखेन शिक्षण मातृ हस्तेन भोजन सो विच मीन्स दैट लाइक फर्स्ट टीचर इज मदर एंड 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 द फूड वॉट अवर चिल्ड्रन आर ईटिंग इट शुड कम इट शुड बी मेड विथ लॉड ऑफ लव एंड विथ द नेचुरल इन्ग्रेडियंट्स विच अवर मदर अर्थ इज प्रोड्यूसिंग इन इट्स नेचुरल फॉर्म सो आई स्टार्टेड फीलिंग दैट what is the meaning of uh, me earning crores of rupees but if i am not able to be with my children i am mm. not able to give their uh, time to them i am not able to create a space where they can grow and they can uh, means a, a nurturing space where they can grow mm. and they can learn so many things uh, also if i outsource my uh, you know like food so we know how, what kind of food is right. being yeah. available in uh, in the world today you know all chemically grown food so if if you want to give a natural and uh, chemical free and pure food to your uh, children or your family then you have to go and do the farming which was happening in our mm. uh, in i think in the entire world but i would yeah. say more in bharat where uh, we like there were villages and people are growing their own food mm. uh, they are learning together with each other no outsourcing there were no schools and then uh, you know uh, you uh, because of the conditioning unconditioning or like pure mindset uh, there was no need of any medication mm. uh, the pure food you were getting so no need of any like mental health issues or emotional issues or you know like no diseases physical diseases also so it all tied together when we started uh, we, we left and we started our own learning as a family i think uh, everything started coming into the place because everything is so much connected with each other so that's how i think uh, i would i would say that it's a zero outsourcing we are going towards mm -hmm. because in today's world there are many things like i cannot just uh, make car on i can do it but it it's not you know like uh, otherwise entire time will go into that but there are certain things which are must uh, mm. which 
uh, are like we, we cannot do anything about it but whatever is in your hand and these three things I think I figured out that these are the three things we should and and it's not like it, it didn't start with some plan but it started happening uh, automatically just start things started emerging so yeah I really yeah. think the whole journey with um, unschooling I think really helped us as a family unlearn a lot of things that um, that have just become a way of life like it, they have become a way of life for everyone around us so I also wanted to talk about this so today we live in a world where everything is outsourced right and especially like the country that we've lived in for so many years the United States of yeah. America um, you know these big companies they outsource their um, labor and um, all in all it seems like a very beneficial system what do you <laughs> I think it's a question mark uh, beneficial for whom you mm. know whom uh, like who are getting benefited from the system I don't see people like us uh, are getting a lot of benefits from this system or even the mother earth or even the entire environment mm. and even when we go uh, beyond that even the people who are creating this system of lot of outsourcing and consumerism it's not even helping them as well you know right. so I think and there is another part of uh, like doing everything on your own is that you get a lot of happiness mm. satisfaction and peacefulness so I especially from uh, my experience that even though I was earning like a big uh, you know salary but every month whatever amount came it didn't give me a lot of that much happiness which uh, I started we started building our home this eco natural mm. home where I learned masonry and I did wooden work and I did many things you know or even at home when I um, do like uh, daily chores and we all do the daily chores right. like uh, s sweeping and mopping and everything you know doing everything on your own it gives a lot of satisfaction and that satisfaction turns into the happiness right. and, and peacefulness so I'm not sure even this kind of happiness and peacefulness even the people who have created the system they are getting that's very true yeah I was uh, yesterday when we um we I'm doing this um, become a self learner workshop and uh, we had a session yesterday and I was showing the kids this video the story and stuff and um, it was mentioned there it, how you know 1950s is when sort of this consumerism boom sort of came about and um, 1950s was the last time it was the highest um, the happiness index of the United mm -hmm. States was and then from there it's just been declining yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, so it, it brings like even if you talk in terms of money, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, like uh, not a first priority, but even you are saving lot of resources there. You are uh, uh, you are actually building your health. So I am right. doing lot of productive labor. You are saving. Uh, you are actually building your health. Mm -hmm. uh, you when you cook when you eat uh, home home cooked food and home grown food. Uh, you are reducing your chances of getting lifestyle diseases you know so there are so many things uh, I still remember when I left my corporate career and I started uh, like home uh, like I, I started being at home and experimenting so many different things and working at home and doing uh, sweeping mopping and everything people used to tell me that uh, you can be a lot more productive you know mm -hmm. like this one hour can uh, earn you uh, hundreds of dollars and you are spending it this work can be done by a maid who will just charge you 100 or 200 rupees you know mm. and I was just like inside myself I was just laughing that uh, you don't know what value and what satisfaction and what happiness is it is bringing uh, into me and at the same time I think uh, even as a future generation when uh, we see that many kids of your age uh, daughters or like uh, uh, girls and boys they are dependent on the outside system they are eating uh, mostly I think every other day outside food when they are studying or they are you know uh, like outsourcing everything to a maid uh, they don't even pick up the glass of water by themselves I, I, I think uh, that like what kind of uh, human or what kind of uh, uh, personality we are uh, giving to the world you know like mm. if you can't do anything yourself even at your job how would you uh, be adventurous and try and finding out different new things and doing things by yourself you know 
then at the workplace also you will say okay it would be great if someone can uh, work on my behalf you know so so uh, right kind of example probably i think i tried and me and uh, your uh, dad uh, baba tried uh, to set up in front of you by uh, doing all this uh, although it was just a side effect we were getting a lot of uh, happiness <laughs> in doing all this <laughs> so so i also wanted to talk to you about you know um today we live in a world where it's very easy to get access to um things that are available internationally right you have amazon you have big brands who come up in all of the countries and um it's very easy to you know get branded stuff from outside or you know um outsource outsource everything that you need basically from all of the the places you can outsource them from so in in a world like this where it's so easy to have access to all of these things even tax to have access to all of these things from other countries also while you're living in one what how why do you think or um do you think it's important to um nurture the local economy yeah definitely i think local economy is the need of the art mm. even like a uh, few hundred years before the local economy which was making everyone uh, you know uh, like w- today we are just talking about growth but mm. uh, it was a more prosperous uh, world back then when the local economy was uh, holding the major uh, you know uh, major uh, share of uh, the entire transactions mm. was happening you know and that transaction was also not happening just in currency only right. it was all like multiple forms of wealth mm. where we are connecting with uh, different people in our community we are taking care of their needs and in in that uh, way we are actually being kind to each other we are being right. generous we are getting more compassionate towards others need and uh, others feelings and uh, it was a beautiful time you know uh, and we uh, in the name of economic growth and technology advancement uh, we have all these brands who are coming i would say uh, connecting uh, us to the global world it's beautiful but how what is the connection you know mm. like if you are connecting heart to heart if you are exchanging your ideas if you are learning uh, from each other in different like uh, from different cultures different lifestyles right. product is product you know like uh, it's just a material thing mm. uh, how do you establish the balance in your life Uh, between your spiritual emotional and material life i think that makes lot of sense because even in the name of uh, economy development we are saying that we are empowering uh, tribal areas or we are empowering uh, lower class uh, i question on that you know like mm. still they are at the same place which they were 50 years be- before or 100 years before so in what term we are growing so right. i think that question everyone should uh, ask to themselves even this big uh, startups and big uh, unicorns and everything like they are going mm-hmm. global uh, they are thinking that they are trying to help but uh, uh, it's i think it's a big question mark on they are also yeah, <laughs> so my last question to you and then we'll have a little rapid fire sure. round which we do on our podcast is um what are some of the positive changes that you've seen in yourself and in your family ever since you stopped outsourcing mm-hmm. i think the biggest change i have seen that i am able to stay more happy mm-hmm. uh no more anxiety because when you outsource the stuff most of the time you are not even sure of the quality like you are the paying you are being price for something but you are not getting that thing mm-hmm. in in terms of uh, material like so food you know for example food or uh, like produce uh vegetables fruits you know you always you are doubtful that what kind of chemical will be inside mm-hmm. and what i am feeding to my family so it's bringing more peace and more happiness it's bringing lot of health to us and lot of unconditioning and unlearning mm-hmm. you know so health wise i do productive labor at home as we talk you know you know and uh, so it it has actually i am able to reverse my diabetes because of the food as medicine and you know lifestyle change and uh, doing a lot of productive work here and it gives me a lot of inner uh, peace and happiness to me mm. which in turn i think um, helping our family uh, to understand each other better right. uh, to bond more mm. uh, and 
all the work we do all together i think it brings lot of uh, you know like love and you know i it's, it's i i can't explain the feeling which uh, you know it is bringing so i think yeah. uh, these are all the things i'm still learning <laughs> i'm a lifelong learner and still learning so many things uh, there are still some areas where we need to reduce even so for example clothing or something which uh, and and i actually love uh, uh, optimization of resources so i just mm -hmm use lot of waste i can't see any waste uh, like if someone wants to throw it i can't be at that so i just hold everything and i just start looking at way, some ways where we can reuse uh, the waste mm -hmm. material uh, so i think uh, that is what i have been finding that it gives me more joy more pleasure and more uh, you know um, satisfaction uh, to do something creative uh, in these areas as well you know so i agree okay so moving on to our rapid fire are you ready yeah okay <laughs> um so my first question is aside from outsourcing what is uh, one of the biggest things that you've unlearned so far i think i learned unlearned productivity mm -hmm. because even few years maybe 6 7 years back i was just crazy about being busy all the time mm -hmm. you know even people around me who if they are sitting and enjoying their time off like sitting quietly i would say there is so many things to be done and why people are sitting quietly so i think uh, productivity was the main uh, barrier in my mind that we need to be productive all the time we cannot mm. waste our time but slowly slowly i started thinking that uh, there is uh, you know a different experience when you just let go the things and slow down mm. and just sit quietly and not even think about or plan about future but just uh, be in the present moment so yeah <laughs> and in that same vein uh, what is something that you think uh, we all need to unlearn as a community i think uh, as a community uh, we need to unlearn that uh, okay. transaction is not I means the the form of currency what we mm -hmm. have been thinking mm -hmm. that it is not the only way to do uh, anything you do you know like mm -hmm. so even in startup so i i am so much inspired by nipun bhai's service mm -hmm. space as well you know so i totally believe in that uh, multiple forms of wealth we should be you know actually exploring so uh, the concept of uh, currency or con concept of money needs to be you know uh i think rethink and uh, redesign and uh, we need to think about multiple forms of wealth yeah okay and um the next question i have for you is um if you could go back and change something about your schooling or your education what would that be i think uh my schooling was kind kind of very cool so i i really enjoyed my schooling mm -hmm. because it was a different school but uh, the thing i would change is probably uh, i'll remove the curriculum from that mm -hmm. all the subjects which like history and geography and everything which even i i, I don't remember or i i don't think i have learned mm -hmm. anything means not from the subject itself but the way it was taught and it was there in the curriculum so the curriculum the entire curriculum concept mm -hmm. should be removed and um, everything should be like kind of a project based learning instead of uh, bookish knowledge and you know studying from the books so. and my last question to you is so um what message do you have for the youth today for the youth i think uh, i have this message that uh, you are not here to consume the contents and consume the products which people are throwing at your way just create something you know uh, be creative create something create your own world create your own uh, film if you want to like if you just love uh, binging on uh, all this ott platform but just think of creating something of your own you know and uh, even uh, everything just just uh, look at uh, from the perspective that uh, if it is giving you uh, real happiness Uh, then go ahead with that but if if you feel uh, guilty and regret it later probably i think uh, it should be uh, it should be uh, 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 means 
it should be given a thought i would say that um, just uh, just focus on creating something you are here to create a beautiful world uh, beautiful innovations beautiful you know uh, so uh, be a creator that's what <laughs> my message I think to that's the a youth great is. message. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that concludes our episode for today. I think it was it was really fun having you. It's like it didn't feel any different from the conversations we always have sitting around <laughs> the house. Yeah. So I honestly I forgot there was a camera here <laughs> and we were recording. But um, so that sums up our episode for today on learning outsourcing. Um, we will see you guys soon for another very special episode with a very special guest. Till then, stay tuned. Uh, we're on YouTube, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and anywhere else you get your podcasts. Check us out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>